Good morning folks, it's Annie with Manor Farms Homestead. I wanted to do a video this morning because I've just figured out what's going on with some of my uh, tomato uh, seedlings. Um, they started out looking really good and then at the very tops my leaves started curling in like this. A very unusual form to how they're curling in at the tops. It's all the new growth. The old leaves have stayed the same and not really not really been affected by whatever was going on but all the new growth they're stunted they've gotten a little bit leggy I feel like their stems have grown but no new leaf production or all new leaf production is just curling in like this As you can see, the peppers are doing really well. That's a lot of peppers that are all doing perfectly fine. These tomatoes looked a little bit better, but I've started seeing some growth that they've put out curling just a little bit. So I'm worried that we might have the same thing here. These really looked bad. So these, I believe, are the Cherokee Purple. And then I have some yellow tomatoes and then some German pink. The German pink have these kind of round leaves. I'm at the point now where I've really nursed these tomato plants, just trying to figure out what was going on. Was I overwatering? Was I underwatering? Was there a nutrient deficiency? Uh, were they stressed by being put out in the sun or not getting enough sun inside? So I've, I've gone through a lot of stuff trying to figure it out. Of note, I have another little tray of them that's doing perfectly fine. And this is some type of golden tomato, if I can remember. Uh, gold metal tomato. And this one has done fine. Completely unaffected by whatever was going on. So... I started researching and just trying to figure out what was going on. And when I looked up this particular morphology of leaf curl, I found that it's associated with herbicide exposure. So, well, let me back up. Um, one of the other things I was thinking that could be wrong was that I had taken some garden soil out of my flower bed and put at the bottom of the planters and then top that off with potting mix. When I first transplanted these seedlings out of the little bitty trays here. And I had dumped some wood ash on that dirt over winter to just kind of slowly break down and add some nutrients to the soil. And I was thinking, well, maybe I scooped up just a huge amount of just the wood ash and it was too alkaline and that caused them a problem. So I did repot these um, two days ago and I really can't tell any difference. I don't think it made any difference, but <clears throat> what I believe is going on is a herbicide exposure at this point. It turns out that tomatoes are highly sensitive to a, a product called 2,4-D. And that is commonly used in the agriculture industry. My father was actually spraying his hay fields um, probably the week that this started, in retrospect. Um, he was trying to get rid of some invasive type uh, grasses that he didn't want in his hay field and some uh, invasive weeds. Um, it's been very windy here in the south recently. And... Turns out that herbicide can get in the air and actually uh, be airborne and transmit for quite a long distance. So I believe that's our culprit now. So it's one of the things to keep in mind if you live near an area of um, commercial agriculture production going on. This is something that your seedlings could end up being exposed to without you ever knowing where it came from. I happen to be able to pinpoint it, but certainly this could have happened with a neighbor doing something and I would have never known. But this is the morphology of 
leaf curl on a tomato when it's been exposed to herbicide. Whether this is a lethal dose, I'm not sure. I'm not really seeing any new growth that's not affected. Um, I'm a sucker for not giving up on stuff, but these these are probably not going to amount to anything. I will probably have to replant all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and get some tomato seeds planted in little trays. See what these do over the next couple of weeks. And um, if they're not doing anything, we'll just pull them up and start over. We'll be getting a little bit of late start on these tomatoes, but uh, I guess better late than never. Um, and I do have some some healthy tomatoes that can go out early. So just a, a lesson learned there. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining.